Things are looking up at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh after a beam raising on Friday. The beam is part of the museum's new $18.5 million museum lab project to serve older children. What will they be doing there? Well, we're going to find out. Children's Museum Executive Director Jane Warner is here with Museum Board President Michael Duckworth with the answers. Good morning. Good morning. This has to be so exciting for you to finally see that beam raising up and this project getting off the ground. It certainly is. I mean, we open in April, so we're getting very close and uh, things, you know, it's been a long time. So it's been, uh, it's been an exciting time. So tell us about this building because there's so much history in this building on the north side. Yeah, it's the former Carnegie Library. Um, so it was built in the, uh, I think it opened in 1890. It was the first Carnegie Library ever commissioned. Wow. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful kind of Richardsonian um, looking building, kind of like a castle. And we're really excited about opening it up for children and for older children. So kids 10 and above. And so why was there such an emphasis to work with those kids? Uh, because I think that there's a, that tween, in fact, we call them kind of teenager. Yes, right, yeah, <laughs> I've heard very, that term. Uh, Yeah, there's very little uh, for kids during that time period. And so we thought, um, and we're also very interested in kind of understanding how kids learn at that age. Well, because they don't really want to be bothered by many people <laughs> at that age, right? <laughs> so it's hard to get them engaged. This seems like a great way to do that. I was reading some of the details about it. There's going to be a maker space for the kids. That's right. There's a maker space and there's a studio lab and there's a tech lab that actually Carnegie Mellon uh, will be trying out some of their more interesting educational programs. Yeah, and you guys have some great partners lined yeah. up to bring some events. We, we will have a three-story climber in what used to be the stacks that um, is actually done by um, an artist who uses traditional lace making technique and wow. climbing rope and it's very cool. It very sounds cool. awesome and, and there's going to be a school you said in the building as well. That's right. Um, Manchester Academic Charter School will be joining us and they'll be on the second floor of this building but we will be open to the public on the first floor. That's great. So Michael, um, I, I understand that while most of the funding is there, there's still a, a small portion when you think about it left um, needed to get this thing completed. Can you tell us about the efforts to meet those financial goals? Sure. So right now we are uh, uh, two million dollars, about two million dollars shy of our eighteen and a half million dollar goal. So we're very happy with all that we've been able to accomplish, but right. the last two million dollars are the one as the part of this that scares us the most. Right. So we're looking for any ideas, any help that uh, your, wa your viewers uh, have for the project, we, we really still need help to get across the, the finish line. I, I imagine that has to be difficult because this has been a project that's been planned and uh, worked on for several years now. So this last leg of it is probably the most trying. Yes, and, and the public phase of it, we're actually asking people to give whatever they can to help create that climber I was talking about. Mm -hmm. and so that you can actually you know, give $25 and it can actually make a big difference if we all kind of band together. Um, so there's, there are many different ways that we can, uh, you can get involved in the project. Well, and the Children's Museum is a wonderful space in itself. So where is this building in relation to the Children's Museum? It's right next door. Oh, so um, actually when we're done, we'll have um, created the largest cultural campus for children in the United States. Um, so we think that that's something that Pittsburgh can be very proud of. It's definitely something to boast about. And you hope to open in April, you said? Yes, 2019. Now do you need the, <laughs> that $2 million before you can open the doors? We'd like very much for that to happen. That's okay. always been our plan. So we're pushing very hard now to finish our, our fundraising. Okay. The crunch is on. Thank you guys so much. But you <laughs> heard it. And, you can, and the public can donate. Any small amount can help. We would love that. And okay. all they have to do is reach out to anybody at the Children's Museum, and we'll be glad to help them. All right. Thank you both so much. Exciting things happening there for sure. At the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh, look for the Museum Lab grand opening the week of April 9th, 2019.